According to Chinese media, Cattle confirms that it will start to ship LFP battery cells to Gigafactory 3 sometimes this month. The original shipment time is August. All made in China SP Model 3s will be made with LFP battery packs. Our friend uh, Ray for Tesla on Twitter yesterday, last night, shared on his Twitter account. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com. I asked our another contributor and our group member, uh, Dick McMahon, is to elaborate on this and here's what Dil, uh, Dean writes but before we get started please subscribe to our channel because this is a developing story and I'm going to bring more of this as soon as it becomes more information available Cattle Contemporary Amperex Technology Corporation who is currently China's largest battery manufacturer today with 28% of the global battery market confirmed that it will start shipping its LFP lithium ion phosphate batteries this this, later this month directly to Tesla's Shanghai Gigafactory for use in its China only entry level Model 3 standard range plus electric vehicles. Back in February it was disclosed that cattle would be providing batteries for Tesla specifically for China only models. There are several benefits for Tesla in using the cattle LFP batteries. The biggest benefit is lower cost. Cattle's LFP batteries are supposed to cost around $80, kilo, $80 per kilowatt hour at the cell level and around $100 kilowatt hour at the pack level, which may result in an internal savings of $3,000 to $4,000 per car for Tesla. Currently, today's Chinese Model 3s get their batteries from Panasonic, who has been the sole battery provider for Tesla so far. LG also has a battery contract with Tesla for Chinese battery production. China's EV subsidies have been reduced this year and they require that Chinese batteries are using an EVs to qualify, uh, are, are used in EVs to qualify, plus the new energy subsidies are now only available to passenger cars costing less than 300,000 yuan, which is around $42,870. And the entry level price, price for the Model 3 was 323,800 yuan which is forty six thousand two hundred seventy dollars so tesla dropped the price by about ten percent to two hundred seventy one thousand five hundred fifty yuans which is thirty eight thousand eighty eight hundred dollars so that customers would qualify for the nearly three thousand government electric vehicle subsidies as a result uh, as a result of their Model 3 price reduction, Tesla China saw uh, its sales climb up 35% and they sold nearly 15,000 Chinese Model 3s in June, according to the China Passenger Car Association, CPCA, despite seeing a devastating 40% decline in electric vehicle sales overall for the China market. Tesla had to sell its Model 3s and less of a profit at less of a profit to qualify for the China subsidies. But Cattle's LFP batteries to lower their production cost, their profit should go back up again despite the lower China Model S SP pricing. The here are some other Cattle LFP battery advantages for uh, Tesla. The greatest PR advantage for Tesla in using the cattle LFP batteries is because the lithium ion phosphate batteries do not use any cobalt. Cobalt mining sources have been linked to child labor abuse in the Congo and electric vehicle manufacturers have all been distancing themselves from cobalt sources from Congo's warlord controlled mines. Many electric vehicle automakers have been using IBM's blockchain technology to track and screen cobalt from clean mines all the way to fine Liam battery production. But using Cattle's LFP cobalt free batteries bypass any cobalt concerns for the model. And even though LFP prismatic battery packs are more difficult to cool and provide lower energy density than Panasonic's NCA nickel cobalt aluminum or LG Chem's NMC nickel manganese cobalt batteries, which Tesla uses, the Model 3 SP LFP should offer comparable EV range, possibly using a larger capacity pack or using Cattle's cell to pack technology. 
Tesla also has its own patents on cell to pack technology, which will probably be an important part of its upcoming million mile battery pack engineering, about which we hope to hear during the Tesla Battery Day on September 22nd at Fremont Factory. We heard about the plan for cattle LFP batteries to be coming to China Teslas months ago, but it was uncertain when, if they would be shipped to the Shanghai Gigafactory this year. Year, but it looks like we may see made in China LFP Mother 3 3s built as early as this August or end of July. Now, friends, do you think that Tesla offering a lower priced cobalt free LFP cattle battery pack will improve future sales and profits? By the way, recently Honda also inked a long term partnership deal with cattle, including use of cattle batteries in Honda electric cars as well as joint development development of battery technology. The first Honda model with cattle batteries is scheduled to launch in the Chinese market in 2022, Honda said in a pre press release last Friday. The partnership also encompasses joint research and development into fundamental technologies. Honda said one area the two companies plan to explore is battery recycling and reuse according to the automaker. But you know, Honda isn't the only one to strengthen its ties with cattle. Toyota made a deal with the company last year that included battery supply and joint development, including work on solid state batteries. Friends, Tesla's China plan is paying off. Haley, uh, Haley Zaramba, an environmental journalist, uh, writes about it saying, overall, the last several years, China has slowly but surely taken over the global electric vehicles industry. The country has indirectly controlled EV markets, electric vehicle markets, for years through its um, near monopolization of lithium ion battery production, producing about two thirds of the world's supply of the this current electric vehicle component that represents a staggering 40% of an electric car's value, the battery. With so many individual EV components manufactured in China, it makes sense that many foreign car companies are shifting their entire production operations to Asia. But instead of enjoying an electric vehicle boom, Chinese-owned EV companies are struggling to get off the ground in their own country. And I reported that several days ago. One reason for this is intense competition from foreign companies, one of which is of course the is of course Tesla. Tesla is not just pushing into Chinese manufacturers sectors, it's pushing into Chinese markets and it's breaking havoc for local electric vehicle companies. Tesla's new Shanghai plant has churned out super popular Model 3 electric sedans for the past six months catapulting the company atop the sales chart and piling the pressure on cash-strapped local rivals. Bloomberg reported last week, just this month, China's Byton LTD announced that it will be taking a six-month hiatus in furloughing its employees. The business attributed this announcement to economic difficulties due to the novel virus, uh, but it's the third uh, Chinese EV company to bite the dust since Elon Musk started his made in China offensive with Model 3 and now getting ready to producing the Model Y electric crossover um, in the expanded uh, areas of Gigafactory Shanghai. Byton LTD, a high profile Chinese startup with big ambitions to enter the United States market, began its six month break on July 1. The company followed in the footsteps of another two sizable Chinese electric vehicle companies, Bordering Motors and Jingshu Salin Automotive Technology, who also shuddered its business this year as they fell victim of plummeting demand amid the trade war and virus. And as the government scaled back the subsidies that turned China into the world's biggest EV market with hundreds of producers, um, and with hundreds of pro producers. So while the Chinese EV market has been diminishing, however, Tesla's presence in the country market has only grown. And now imagine what it will do if Tesla starts with this new uh, LFP batteries with cattle end of this month or early next month. 
Tesla in just half a year grabbed a hefty slice of that shrinking pie and its portion keeps getting bigger, writes Bloomberg. The market leader's sales now approach a quarter of the total tally for electric vehicles, the China Passenger Car Association said July 8, as wealthier buyers are drawn to Tesla's brand cachet. That's, mar uh, that's making life difficult for the slew of local contenders and risk risks exposing the multi-billion dollar Chinese electric vehicle push as a bubble. While Tesla edges out Chinese companies in China, they are also poised to revolutionize the global electric vehicle industry and expand their empire with a revolutionary disruption to the sector. As always with electric vehicles, it's all about the batteries. Tesla is developing an ultra-durable car battery with a million-mile longevity and the ability to power a car for 400 miles between charges. This battery will not be standard lithium-ion battery, but lithium-iron. Even more ambitiously, Tesla is also planning on finding a way to ditch cobalt, a hugely pricely component, as I mentioned above, that significantly drives up the cost of electric cars. Not only will this capture Tesla's EV sales, it's not hyperbole to say that the development will fundamentally change the global car market on the whole, as these million mile batteries will have such a long lifespan that vehicles will be able to retain their value for much longer. If you are taking, talking about batteries that can last twice as long for the same price, it completely changes the math of the consumer, Wetbush security analyst Dan Ives told CNN. So what do you think friends about uh, cattle possibly uh, uh, supplying uh, LFP batteries for Tesla Model 3s this month. I'm going to look forward to this. So if you are interested in this topic, please subscribe to our channel and ring the bell when you subscribe so you don't uh, miss any of these stories coming to you. In the meantime, this is Armin Harian from TorqueNews.com. I thank Dean McManus, Ray for Tesla and also Haley and everyone who have contributed to this story. Um, if you have great tips about this and you know more about this topic and hear more about cattle, and please send it to me to my email. I would greatly appreciate any tips or videos that you may have. Friends, please also uh, share this video videos on your social media channels if you can. That really helps us very much. I'll see you in our next report. I have a couple of very interesting Tesla stories coming today. Take good care of each other. God bless you and I'll see you soon. Thank you everyone. Peace be with all of you.